Hey gang, it's Norm from Tested. I got an extra video for you this week. I'm at home again, which means I got something cool to show off. And it's right here. This is an amazing set made by Hot Toys, sold by Sideshow Collectibles. It's Batman The Dark Knight Armory. Batman, probably my favorite superhero up there with Iron Man. And lucky for me, there are a lot of action figures out there. So let me tell you what's in this set and what's new, because there have been a ton ton of action figures, Batman six scale figures made by a bunch of companies, including even Hot Toys. I actually have one from a while ago. What's new in this set is not only the armory, but you get a Bruce Wayne and Alfred Pennyworth six scale figures. Michael Caine in six scale form. Let's talk about those first. So here's Bruce Wayne and here's Alfred Pennyworth. These are the first figures I've actually seen that use really nice suits or try to replicate really nice suits in six scale form. It's obviously not going to be the wool of the Armani suit that Christian Bale wore for the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises. So it doesn't scale down perfectly. And some people on the forums actually have tailored the outfits that have come on these figures. Um, people with tailoring skills. I don't have it, so you kind of have to tuck it in in the back. There's a lot of hands you can swap in. It's all poseable. But of course, when you get a Hot Toys figure, what you care about is the face sculpt. The sculpt of the face, a likeness. And does this look like Christian Bale? And does that look like Michael Caine? For the Bruce Wayne figure, I think this looks fantastic. It looks just like Christian Bale as he was in the Dark Knight. Not the Dark Knight Rises, he was a little more gaunt then. And you have the great eye painting, the great face painting. The one complaint I do have is when you look at any action figure, whether it's Hot Toys, Micro Machines, you know, Hasbro, anything, they are molded figures, plastic figures. So when they're molding this, uh, the original sculpt, there is a cast line, and you can sometimes see that. They can be hidden well in some places, but not well in other places. And I think for the Bruce Wayne one, you can actually see on its hairline a line on the top where the mold was split apart. On the Michael Caine figure, the Alfred Pennyworth figure, that's actually hidden much better. If you look at his hairline, you cannot see that cast line at all. And I think that this sculpt, the paint job at least, is fantastic. The only complaint I have about the Michael Caine figure is that the eyes look a little bit dead-eyed. It looks like he's staring off into the distance. That's unavoidable sometimes uh, with these types of figures. It's all about the pupils and how they're aligned and what direction they're looking at and where you turn the head. If you point this one straight on and look straight at his face, it does look a little bit like a zombie. Uh, I didn't experience any of the paint job problems that some people might have talked about online in terms of the eyeballs. And it, I think overall, a really nice, really nice set. Now, in addition to Bruce Wayne, Alfred Pennyworth, this set does come with a Batman figure. Now, there have been so many different Batman figures released by Hot Toys over the years. Uh, there is one for Batman Begins, one for the Dark, several for the Dark Knight, one for the Dark Knight Rises. And this combines what I think is the best of all of them. I'm actually gonna bring in now something that I've owned for over four years. It's also made by Hot Toys. This is the DX02 uh, Deluxe Series. Um, and uh, they have two lines, the MMS Series, the Ma Movie Masterpiece Series, and the Deluxe Series. Deluxe Series has better packaging, uh, has more accessories, and but this is old. This is from 2010. And just comparing the two, the sculpts have been much improved. Just in the face, you can see the paint job and the sculpt of Batman's chin here so much more improved in the new one, and that's because Hot Toys has iterated over the years. They did also, over the years, change the sculpting of the armor, Batman's armor. In the bodysuit, it's not just one piece of plastic now. In the old DX02, uh, this was a solid piece of plastic between the pads and the fabric. In the new one, which is actually based on the DX12 Dark Knight Rises suit, uh, you actually have fabric between the armor pads. For cosplayers out there, uh, who are trying to build a Batman armor or who, who buy Batman armor. One thing to know is when you look at the Batman symbol on the, the uh, Christopher Nolan Batman movies, you got to make sure that this line on the chest plate matches up with the tip of this bat on the bat symbol on the bottom. And it matches up, I think, a little better on the DX02 than it does on the DX12 or the, or the, uh, the new MMS figure. But what's improved overall is this face sculpt. This face sculpt, what people speculate, is actually a scaled-down version from their one-fourth scale uh, Batman figure, also recently announced and released last year. And so you have better eye painting under the eyes, because 
Batman wears, you know, there's basically a lot of a lot of makeup on Christian Bale's face, and then he puts the cow on. So you can actually you can just make that out here. A better faceplate. There is the eye system. They call it the PERS system, parallel eye uh, rotation system. And what that means is that you take a, a tool and you can actually shift the eyes so you can look in any direction. And then you can actually change the faceplates out. And it does come with a series of three faceplates. You have swear to me, swear to me, and swear to me. Or, you know, him not saying anything. Whatever you like. And because this is the Armory set, it does come with a full Armory. Hot Toys released theirs just this year, sold through Sideshow Collectibles. But earlier this year, late last year, another Hong Kong company called Toys Legends actually released their own Batman Armory. It was unlicensed. It's killed now. You can't find it. Maybe people on eBay have it. And a lot of people were worried, a lot of collectors were worried, that the Armory released by Hot Toys would be just a rehash, a resculpt of that Toy Legends one. I can confirm it's not. I have both. I did buy that Toys Legends one, and the Hot Toys one is so much better. Paint job, it doesn't have the rust look of the old one, which I actually like, um, and has the, the individual weapons and accessories, which you have to put in yourself. You actually take it out of the package individually, put in all the bombs, all these sticky guns, even some nunchucks. The Batman figure here that comes with this set, you can actually replace the head, take the head off, and you can put in the Bruce Wayne Christian Bale head, or you can put in an empty mask, a hollow mask. You can take off the hands, take off the, the boots, and put it into the armory as an empty suit. So that's the ideal setup for this. Um, Hot Toys, Sideshow Collectibles, they do sell sets with just the Batman figure and just the armory without the Alfred and without the Christian Bale, without the Bruce Wayne. And they also sell them with either uh, just the Bruce Wayne or just the Alfred figures. I don't think the Bruce Wayne and Alfred ones are essential, but if you've never got into six scale figures before and you've looked at the whole pantheon of all the Batman figures that have come out so far, I think that this one is the best one so far. It's the latest sculpt. It's not perfect. Nothing's perfect. It does have some things that's going to bother if you are if you're a nitpicker and you can't if you don't like the the armor, the sculpt of the armor, that's too bad. But I think in terms of the head sculpt, which is what you're paying for, uh, it does have the best Batman head sculpt of everything I've seen so far. So that's the Batman Armory full set. Uh, they sell in the smaller set or the full set with three figures and I guess you can call it a play set. Here it is on sale now. Shipping soon. I'm Norm from Tested with more awesome stuff. I love geeking out about this stuff on Tested. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Have a great weekend guys.